this year's San Diego Comic-Con is just full of amazing surprises. Big reveals from perhaps some of your most favorite franchises. So I thought, let's do a highlight of some of the biggest announcements coming from the San Diego Comic-Con of 2024. Starting off with Amazon's Prime, The Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2. They came out with a almost a four-minute long trailer and I'll be honest, it is trying really, really hard to impress even the most diehard fans of Lord of the Rings. Battle sequences, new characters, there are higher stakes, there, are, there is actual suspense, there is emotional weight to it. And I am kind of hoping it's going to be great, but I do have... A little bit of doubt because that first season was disappointing it was underwhelming and this second season feels like it needs to compensate a lot for that disastrous first season so definitely check out that trailer it's got thing you know it, it's setting up basically um the crafting of the lesser rings um you know sauron finally establishing his um his his dominion uh, i think they're gonna he's gonna form his his uh iconic uh, baradur tower um maybe we're gonna also see some other things i don't want to spoil too much but the trailer definitely shows uh that there's going to be some exciting new developments um the mystery behind the Istari wizard could it be gandalf could it be the blue wizards could it actually be um the, the white wizard what's his name Saruman who knows a lot of there is enough mystery that gets you kind of excited to see what's next but I am still going to be very critical when that second season comes out later in August August 28th so yeah check it out the rings of power season 2 trailer is now out on YouTube and then Amazon Prime even announced um, that Soldier Boy and uh, Stormfront are going to be getting a prequel series called Vought rising and even though the boys is going to be ending in the next season fans will be able to be, uh, visit the twisted superhero filled world with a new soldier boy and stormfront prequel series and it's going to be called Va vat rising the show is set in the 1950s and will tell the story of the humble beginning of the monstrous corporation vat and perhaps even the birth of some of the soups in uh, that we know from the series well, it seems like the boys' uh, world is going to continue to expand. I think this is perhaps the beginning of a few spinoffs that are going to be coming in the near future. If you want to check it out, uh, I think the, this is perhaps the only announcement we've gone so far. We don't even have a trailer. But uh, yeah, fans of the boys get excited. Uh, DC Studios has uh, reimagined uh, re, re their logo. And they've actually really uh, re revealed it and it actually i like it because it's kind of a nod to classic dc comics and um at a time where a lot of brands out there and logos are constantly becoming too simplistic or what's the word universal it's nice to see uh, a company actually revert back to some of their most uh, classic designs um, so yeah it's, it's a nice touch and I think it's it's a way for James Gunn and his team to embrace perhaps um, a more grounded route to the roadmap that they're laying ahead for the DC superhero universe now they have apparently a 10-year plan of some live action movies cartoons and perhaps games that are all going to be interconnected in some way uh, we don't know too much about a lot of what's gonna what what are these projects we know only the superman uh, legacy uh, movie but that's about it for now and then we have some star trek news which honestly i can't cover it because i'm not that much of a star trek uh, expert but uh, apparently there's going to be some new shows coming out. And uh, Star, Trek, Star Trek fans, get excited. Then we have also from uh, Warner Bros. and DC, the official trailer for The Penguin. Um, and you can get a chance to see it because it's going to be, it's going to be premiering very soon in September 19th. Now, this Penguin series, you must know, um, it's based within Matt Reeves, the Batman universe. It's a, it's its own self-contained universe. It's not 
from any other live action adaptation. Uh, so if you've loved that movie and you loved the penguin that was uh, played by Colin Farrell, I believe that's his name, then you're definitely going to enjoy this more in-depth spin-off series focusing on this super villain. And it's going to come out, like I said, in September 19th. There's also a live action series for the Yakuza franchise. If you've loved those video games and you've played them to death, I think it's time to see a true cinematic adaptation of Yakuza. Yakuza is interesting because it's borderline serious and silly at the same time. So I don't know how they're going to deliver on that into the silver screen but i'm definitely excited to see more of it so uh yeah there's an official teaser trailer if you want to check it out oh one more this one i've been waiting a long time almost four years in the waiting this is uzumaki adult swim basically commissioned to have this adapted almost four years ago they announced it they showed some uh, teaser trailers for it but four years and so many delays I, I almost wondered if this was uh, going to get canceled, but they've actually shown an official trailer and it's coming out this year. Thank God. Uzumaki will be coming out in September 28th. I cannot wait to watch this. I've read the book. It's uh, I've read the comic or the manga. I really, really love it. I want to see how they're going to pull it off. I know it must have not been an easy task and it's going for a very interesting stylistic approach. Uh, which I don't, you don't normally see in anime. So I'm super excited for this coming out on September 28th. Check it out. This is Uzumaki. The official trailer is out now. And that pretty much covers, at least for the most part, some of the biggest announcements from San Diego Comic Con. Now, in the next, in the next segment, I'm going to be talking about Marvel. This is why I didn't bring it up here because Marvel announcements needs its own dedicated segment. But those are basically some of the biggest announcements from San Diego Comic-Con. If I miss out on anything, and believe me, I have, or if you have some favorite moments from the event, do join the conversation. Let me know. Share your thoughts right here on the Evening Buzz. We're going to take a short break. And coming up next, we're going to be talking about all the biggest announcements from Marvel Studios from the San Diego Comic-Con of 2024 right here on the Evening Buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, go, go, go. drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Buzz.